हेलो एंड नमस्कार तो इन टूडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रॉ इकोन फॉर्म एज वी अर्लियर वी हैव स्टडीड आउट द रॉ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एलिमेंट्री रॉ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वेयर वी हैव सीन द थ्री स्टेप्स व्हिच वी कैन यूज टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द मैट्रिक्स इनटू अ सिंपलर मैट्रिक्स द ओरिजिनल मैट्रिक्स इनटू अ सिंपलर मैट्रिक्स सो रॉ इकोन इज जस्ट सिमिलर टू दैट थिंग वी reduce the matrix in a specific format okay that is the raw echelon form so definition a matrix is in raw echelon form if it is satisfy these three properties okay we have three properties if a matrix satisfy these three properties then we can say that that matrix is in raw echelon form okay so the first property is all non zero rows are above any row of all zeros okay so basically what is saying that if we have a matrix okay let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 0 0 okay we have some matrix like this so it is saying that uh, all the <coughs> zeros okay all non zero rows are above any row of all zero so we have this row which is zero okay uh, let me draw it this high okay i think this is visible so uh we can see that this is this row okay this particular row we have of zeros right so what it says that or if there is any zeros row okay a row containing all the zeros then it should be at the bottom okay that is all the row containing non zero elements this is the non zero and this has all these are non zero okay so all the non zeros rows are should be above to the zeros row okay second condition each leading entry of a row is in a column to the right of the leading entry of the row above it okay what it means that if we have a matrix 1 0 2 0 1 2 3 1 2 okay we have a matrix something like this so this property says that all the leading entry of a row in a column in a column are leading entry leading entry is this okay in this column right so all the leading entry of the row should be right of the landing entry of a row above it okay so if we have a row above it so the our row has the leading entry whatever the leading entry we have in our row should be in right okay so here you can see that uh, this in this row second row we have this leading entry right and in third we have this leading entry right so according to property this not uh, this matrix doesn't satisfy up our property okay so we can't see that this is in a row echelon form what if we have here we had zero okay then we can say that yes it is in raw echelon form that is the every leading entry should be in right okay that means that if we have a column then there should be only uh, leading entry okay remaining that all are should be zero okay or basically it doesn't have any non zero number okay so here also uh, if this should be zero then like basically we will form a stair case pattern we will obtain a stair case pattern you can see that right so this is the second property and the third all entries in a column below a leading entry are zero okay which i already told that if we have a leading entry then all the entries except the leading entry in that column should be zero okay so these are zero here also this is the leading entry of second row he, these are zero okay and say so so these are the three condition if any matrix satisfy this three condition then the matrix is in raw echelon form don't worry if it's look like hard but clearly it's not okay let's see some example to get clarification on what is raw echelon form or not okay so here we have some examples we can see that here uh this matrix this matrix satisfying all the three conditions what are the three conditions so we will go back see that all non zero rows are above any row all are zeros 
yes we have here you can see that yeah right we don't have any zero row right we have uh, a leading entry in this so we don't have zero row so first condition we don't have to think about the first condition let's see second condition so second condition say that each leading entry of a row is in column to the right so it should uh, like leading entry should be in right so we can see that yes there is a uh, their leading entry in, in right position okay above that like we can uh, we are obtaining the staircase pattern here right so and the third all entries in a column below a leading entry are zero all the element below the leading entry in a column so we can see that this column this is our leading entry and the all the elements are zero right so this is in row eclan form same we can see that this is also in row eclan form here also we can see that we can obtain this stair like pattern so this is also in row eclan form and here we can see that all the uh, row is zero right and this is the below like this is at the bottom so we can say that here also we can see that we will obtain this product pattern so we can say that this is a in row eclan form uh, it is satisfying all the criteria here you can see that here we see that this is a pattern but we got a leading entry and the 0th row is above it okay so it is not in the row eclan form if we transform this these two row we exchange this two row then it will be in row eclan form that is 1050 and 0100 and 0000 now it is in row eclan form but this matrix is not in the row eclan form okay same we can see there here also this and this so leading entry should be in right right but uh, here the case is failing okay the property is failing so it is also not in row eclan form here you can see that we are obtaining this so this is in row eclan form and same here we are obtaining this so this will be row eclan form one more thing i want to clear out that some books says that the leading entry should be one okay but it is not necessary that leading entry should be one okay it can take any number okay that is absolutely fine basically we can apply the row transformation and we can divide it by two and we will get this one so it is absolutely fine that we have any other number other than one okay so i think uh, you get a better idea of what is row eclan form which matrix is in row eclan form and not okay now why we are learning row eclan form what are the benefits okay so after converting the matrix into raw eclan form we can find all these properties okay these are the topics so these are some topics we have learned already and some are advanced topics which we are going to learn in future so we can find rank of the matrix or kernel of the matrix inverse mat inverse matrix we can also find inverse matrix using raw eclan form how we will going to see uh, in future for sure solving linear equation absolutely we are solving we are use this to solve linear equation uh, we are going to use gauss elimination method soon okay and determinant of the matrix if the matrix is square matrix if matrix is a square matrix it will be easy to find the determinant right well, uh, two more topic uh, two more points i want to note that this element this leading element which we have leading element this is known as the pivot element okay this is known as the pivot this is the term used to denote this the leading element that is the pivot element and the column containing that pivot element is known as pivot column okay so this is the pivot column if we go back to our example section we can see that here we have pivot element this is uh, uh, okay here also we have pivot element pivot element here also pivot element okay all these are the pivot elements okay uh, one more uh, pivot element example if i take 0 1 2 uh, i see 0 1 3 and 0 0 0 okay so here we have this pivot element this pivot element uh, right uh, actually this is wrong so 
basically we will have uh one two so this will be our pivot element for this row and this will be our pivot element for this row one more thing we have to need uh, we need to know that in any column in any column there will be only one pivot element okay there will be only one pivot element in a pivot column okay now let's move toward our next let's uh, take an example to solve uh, to know how we convert any matrix into row column form okay so this is the example by which you can clearly understand how to convert your matrix into raw icon form i will be taking this example so here you can see we have this question this is the matrix which we, we, i want to convert into raw icon form okay so i can clearly see that uh, uh, the 0th element should be in down right it should be in bottom right right hand side so what we will do we will just exchange uh, uh, this with this okay so here you can see that we have exchanged these two this is r1 r2 and r3 so we have exchanged this uh, r3 with r1 and we will get this matrix okay from this matrix what we have done we can see that uh, in r2 uh, now we have this pivot element right we have pivot element now what do we want we know that we should have only one pivot element in that particular column like we should have one leading entry and the remaining entry in that column should be zero so we have to make this to zero right how we will do that so we will do r2 uh, we will apply an elementary operation that is r2 minus r1 okay if we minus three from this then we will get it as zero so we have done did it and we will get this okay we have obtained this matrix now what we want to do we want to convert this to one okay basically i want to make this to zero but with the uh, with the help of two i can't make that equal to zero so what i have uh, done that i have divided this whole row with two if you remember in elementary row operation we can multiply with any scalar uh, scalar number okay so i just multiplied this row with 1 by 2 and we will get this right we'll get this matrix right now what we do i want to make it equal to 0 as we can have only one pivot uh, one leading entry in our column right and all the element below that leading entry should be 0 okay so i want to make it as 0 so uh, how we will do that now if we multiply this with 3 and subtract with this row then we will get 3 that what i have done okay and we will get this matrix and this is clearly following all the three rules right so we can say that this is in raw echelon form okay so this is how you are going to convert your matrix into raw echelon form that's all for this video thank you if you like the video please hit a subscribe button do share and subscribe thank you